to everyone. You're welcome to this week's business and investment tips program, a production of RCCG Christchurch Radio with Ayode Jebo, an investment professional. This week, the focus is on understanding investments in treasury bills. Last week, the treasury bills, T-bills primary market auction closed at impressive rates, generating a lot of interest from retail investors. The rates on the 90-day, 182-day and 364-day bills rose by 12.2%, 10.9% and 7.5% to close at 17.2%, 18% percent and 19 percent respectively this translated to a yield stroke return of 18 percent 19.8 percent and 23.4 percent respectively as a result we thought to shed some light on the investments in t-bills for new investors treasury bills are short-term instruments issued by the central bank of nigeria on behalf of federal government to raise funds the cbn also issues treasury bills to manage liquidity in the economy what are the benefits for investors one it has low risk as it is backed by the full phase of the federal government of nigeria two very liquid and can easily be converted to cash three it can be used as collateral for loans four treasury bills are now subject to withholding tax of 10 percent five offers higher interest than the savings account six has a maximum maturity period of 364 days hence are classified as short-term instruments which can be used to plan for short-term goals classifications of treasury bills in nigeria one nigerian treasury bills nt bills these are issued only for the purpose of raising funds to finance government expenditure nt bills can be purchased by domestic retail and institutional as well as foreign portfolio investors both on the primary and secondary markets the primary markets is where investors can buy directly from the cbn through a public auction that holds bi-weekly or as announced by the cbn the secondary market is where investors buy from existing holders of the bills and sell to other investors the minimum investment to participate in the primary market is 50 million naira. However, banks and investment outfits can resell to investors in the secondary market at lower amount, as low as 100,000, especially firms with technology platforms that enable investors to subscribe online. The current yields in the secondary market range from 10% to 15%, depending on the tenor. 2. Open Market Operations, OMO. The CBN issues OMO to manage liquidity in the financial system. OMO bills are only accessible to foreign portfolio investors and banks, and standard size of trade is 250 million naira or as agreed by both parties the yield for omo is currently at an average of 17.9 percent now how does this work while t-bills doesn't pay interest like other fixed income the difference between your discounted price which is the amount invested and the face value which is the amount received at maturity is essentially the interest earned it is as simple as that you gave the government a short-term loan by buying t-bills and they paid you back with interest at the end of the term in other words t-bills pay no interest payments until maturity to simplify if you invest in treasury bills with a face value of 1 million naira at the rate of 15 percent per annum you will pay a discounted value of 850,000 naira now and at maturity you would receive the sum of 1 million naira the difference is the interest earned which is 150,000 naira excluding withholding tax on the investment which is paid at maturity you can also decide to reinvest the expected interest now which yields a higher return at maturity that is the 150,000 naira will end in interest which increases your maturity value differentiating between the t-bills interest rates and the yield the interest rate is the rate used to calculate the return on the investment for instance if the interest rate is 15 percent for a face value of 1 million naira the interest earned for a year's bill will be 150,000. however the yield is the actual return on investment and it's calculated by the total interest earned divided by the discounted value which is the amount paid hence the 150,000 divided by 850,000 naira will will produce a 17.6% yield or return on the treasury bills investment. Hence, the 150,000 naira divided by the 850,000 naira will produce a 17.6% yield or return on the T-bills investment. You can approach your bank or investment firms to sign up to purchase treasury bills. With the current high inflation rates, investing in treasury bills rather than leaving the funds in your savings accounts will reduce the negative impact of high inflation on your savings. You can go for tenors to suit your cash flow need. For instance, if you decide to invest your kids' school fees due in September, you can invest in treasury bills that will mature in September. Hence, you would not need to sell before maturity. Treasury bills are the safest form of investment and are suitable for investors with low risk appetite and with an investment objective to preserve capital. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For questions, comments, and feedback, kindly forward to abo.ayodejiajimu.com or send an SMS to 70
Stay blessed.